Hello everyone. Today we will be learning how to make use of spinner. So in this table, uh, when I load the data, before that I have to make use of the spinner that uh, data is been loading. Please wait. So we will implement that now. So before that I will tell you that uh, I have already linked the bootstrap here. You can see bootstrap has been already linked because this spinner comes from bootstrap itself which I am been using now. So for that I will create a component uh, called spinner. So we need to create a component. So spinner component has been created. We can see here. So I'll go to my Google. I'll type bootstrap spinner. Bootstrap spinner. I'll go to the first link. Let me come below. Yeah, this seems good. Uh, this spinner I'll use. And I'll be pasting in spinner HTML. This spinner works, I'll remove. And here I'll paste. So I want to render it there. I'm going to view. Uh, here I'll show you just. Now this spinner will casually run actually, but we don't need. We can see this is running but like this we, I don't need I need it that two second it should be running and after that this data should come and this should be disabled that will do now. Let me take a deal. H1 tag I need. Please wait loading data and I'll use a booster class here text center. Let me check now. Loading I'll make it as a green color, so I'll go to spinner.component.html here and make the text success. In class, I'll make a text success. We can see green color as so Let me change this color as well. I'll make it blue by using primary. I'll go to here HTML uh, and I'll do text primary. We can see this blue color has come. Now, on condition, uh, I have to. Uh, make use of it because it's running by default now so i'll go to my view.component.ts so i'll use public spinner boolean equals to false and in gif i'll use there I'll go to that HTML here and I'll make use of ngif into ngif. So this will disable now spinner. So we can see there is no spinner, but spinner I'll bring one condition now and make it not here. Then again spinner is coming, we can see. So I'll go to my component of TS here. I'll make use of set timeout. Set timeout. And this I'll be using on timeout. I'll use here. And after two seconds, I have to load the data. So data will not get loaded immediately now. We can see after two seconds data will come. But this is still working. This I have to remove now. Again, again on check timeout I will use. This time I will use this dot 
spinner equals to two. Now let me check. Let refresh. You can see this will load and data will come. I'll refresh again. This will load for two second. After same two second data will come. In that two second, it, it will be going to load. This please wait. And this gets disabled. So thanks for watching this video.